When I first started skating, it was very much coach uh, focused. There were the great coaches and you hoped to be able to train with one of these great coaches. The coaches didn't speak to each other much in those days and they never seemed to discuss skating between them. When we formed our professional organization, we started to have those conversations. So um, we worked chiefly with the uh, York University professors and put together a course and took it to the O'Keefe Sports Foundation and they funded us for a <clears throat> period of three years. Um, we became part of the National Coaching Certification Program. So we started um, just out of the interest that we had amongst us, but then what happened was that rinks were being built, you know, everywhere. And all of a sudden there was a tremendous need for coaches. And so that added to the impulse to start a training program. And uh, it has continued to this day. When I was teaching at the Racquet Club of Victoria, um, one of my former coaches, Mary Rose Thacker Temple, um, was also there, and uh, Frank Noah said. And the fact of our happening to be in the same place at the same time was really responsible for Canada Ice Dance Theatre. Because it happened that skating, competitive skating, was at that point, one of those points that it reaches every once in a while where there is a struggle to attain a certain technical uh, level and judging becomes focused on whether or not somebody can do this new triple jump or what have you. And uh, we felt that, uh, that the artistry of skating was slipping. Like when the quads came, that same thing happened, but now we're beyond that point again where we can add artistry. But we now, for instance, have quad skaters who are wonderful performers as well. As well. well, I hope it's about that I have dedicated myself um, for a lifetime and that um, I have contributed in, in certain ways, uh, such as the Ice Dance Theatre, the Coaching Development Program, those are my main efforts, I suppose.